Welcome back to another Bargain Savage video, and today I have for you this power supply that I bought from AliExpress. Now it's a variable power supply. It's supposed to go from three to 24 volts and produce three amp. So I bought this to try and test some different amplifier boards and stuff that I have recently picked up and was planning on doing some speaker builds. But I wanna see if this thing's actually putting out the voltage that it claims to be. So I got the multimeter here. Now under first inspection, okay, so that's not a good sign. Right off the bat here, as low as it'll go is 3.57 volts. So when I turn it on, it turns on with a click and off but it starts at 3.56. Trying to turn it down more, but it just shuts off. And at wide open, it says it's putting out 24.5 volts. So it's a little higher, but it's not going as low as it's supposed to. But let's turn it down all the way and we'll see what it's actually putting out. So on the meter here, it's got 3.55 volts showing. And on the multimeter, whoa, it says 3.52 volts, 5351. Hold this on here and I'm gonna increase it. So there's 7.89 volts on the power supply, 7.8182 volts on the multimeter. Turn it up to 15.5. I have 15.33, so we're starting to get a little bit more of a gap there. I'll crank it wide open. And it is 24.5 volts on here and 24.31 on the voltmeter. So not bad, it's close, it's not right on, but I don't think that'll get you in trouble. There was a few things I was planning on testing that I would like to have just three volts for, but I'll live on the dangerous side and I guess I'll feed it 3.5. Now another thing that I bought from AliExpress was this power supply. Now it's a 15 volt and 5 amp. So let's check it here and see what it actually puts out. And it's putting out a little bit more. So it's 15.7, 15.57 volts on the meter. And the lamp board that I got here runs at 12 to 24 volts. So that 15 will run it fine. And then I got this uh, little Bluetooth module here. And the problem with it, it says it's only good for seven to 12 volts. When I bought it, I thought it was only 12 volts, so a little bit higher wouldn't hurt it. But at uh, seven to 12, that worries me a little bit. And as my good friend says, don't do as I do. When it comes to this, I probably only know enough to be dangerous. But uh, I'm either going to have to figure a way how to dial the power down. Because what I plan on doing is hooking this Bluetooth board up to this amplifier board. And uh, putting it on an old tower speaker. And making a powered single speaker because I got a tower that doesn't have a pair to it. So it's kind of useless as is. But as a mono amplifier, 
and I'll hook that up, and that'll be up and coming in uh, hopefully somewhere in midsummer. I get that done. But what I'm gonna have to do is try and figure out how to reduce the voltage going into this while still maintaining the 15.5 volts going into the amplifier. Or I just give it a full send and see what happens. And hopefully this thing doesn't melt down. Next few videos will probably be some more earbuds for cheap earbuds extravaganza. I'll put a link up for that. And uh, some more Bluetooth speakers coming. And if you like this content, then please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.